I reviewed this RMS Beauty Uncover Up Foundation years ago on my channel and it is the most viewed video on my channel. If you found me through that video, thank you for still sticking around. I'd actually love to know in the comments below how long you've been watching my channel. But if you don't feel like commenting, if you're just lurking, don't worry, I get it. I do the same thing. Just give this video a like so I know that you're there. But we are doing a full face of RMS Beauty, which I've never done on this channel, surprisingly. We're gonna try on all of their products and I'm gonna tell you what's worth it and what's not. There's definitely some hidden gems but also some stuff that i feel like you should avoid at all costs they also have just recently released all of these beautiful holiday sets on their site i'll pop up some pictures here i also do have a discount code with them if you wanted to get a value set or just anything you had your eye on and you need a discount it will be in the description below but let's go ahead and get started let's get started shall we the first product i want to talk about is the rms supernatural radiant serum this is their spf so i absolutely love the finish of it and the slight tint that this product gives it's just perfect it looks glowy but also doesn't add a lot of weight or oiliness which sometimes i find with glowy sunscreens just be a bit too heavy especially if you have more oily skin like i do so love this i'm not gonna wear it today though because i'm unfortunately allergic to one of the ingredients which is like devastating to me i really wish i could wear this it is so beautiful if you want to try it really recommend this one it also comes in different shades this is the lightest one absolutely gorgeous sunscreen and i heard that they worked like a long time on this and you could really tell because it's a superb formula next in the lineup we have their primer which is the rms reevolve radiance locking primer this has this really cool twist up component i absolutely love this primer as well this is kind of like a primer for people who don't like primers and also primer lovers it's just like i feel like satisfies that was actually a little bit too much satisfies everyone's sort of need for a primer i don't know where i'm going with this what i'm trying to say is it's hydrating and it gives you like a little bit of tackiness but it's not like milk hydro grip or the elf gripping primer level i personally do not like those this one is just so hydrating it really preps the skin so well it just gives you that like perfect even canvas and it does extend the longevity of the makeup but it doesn't totally like dry out your skin or really interfere with the foundation in an unpleasant way it's just so unique it feels beautiful on the skin it has this like slight orangey scent to it this was kind of the product that got me back into rms beauty i mean just look at the glow in the prepped preparedness of the skin for the makeup i don't know what that was it's so beautiful the packaging is really nice i love that this is refillable as well you're going to reduce some waste instead of buying the whole new component you just buy this little refill really cool just so pretty and glowy and like i said i feel like it would really work for all skin type okay next up i'm actually a little bit scared to put this on this is the rms beauty uncover up cream foundation i reviewed this and it's the most viewed video on my channel if you found me through that video hello so this, if you watch that review, you know is not my favorite. I do acknowledge that some other products from this brand just aren't made for the type of makeup that I like or my skin type. They're kind of made for maybe people with drier skin or more mature skin, or if you just prefer like a really natural, like hands-on makeup approach where you're applying your makeup with your hands and really working it in. So we're gonna dip back into this today and just see how I like it. This is the shade 11. Armas has recently expanded the like lighter shades and they have some very, very pale shades, which is great. If you're even fairer than me because I have shades from them in the other Viaval foundation that was like too light for me, which I did also try if you're curious, I have a review on my channel if you wanna know my thoughts on that one, but we're gonna go ahead and just dive into this foundation which is like a very cream based well it is cream based like oily foundation i'm gonna try applying this with my hands because i feel like with this kind of like very thick cream formula that might be the best way to go oh my god this actually has so much coverage i got way too much so i feel like the primer is kind of made more to work with the reevolve foundation but we'll see if it works with this one as well. It'd be kind of weird if it didn't work for both, right? So this foundation came out and it was sort of their foundation version of the cult classic RMS Uncover Up Concealer. So if you really like that concealer and you want a foundation version of it, this is basically it. Now that it's on my face, it's actually like not horrible looking. It's definitely very dewy, but it's kind of reminding me of like the Westman Atelier Stick Foundation basically a stick foundation in a jar it has a very similar consistency i do feel like this process of working in with my hands 
a little bit tedious, but I think it pays off. Now that this is blended in, it did surprisingly work with that primer, even though they seem like very different formulas. Honestly, don't hate the look of it. Feels very moisturizing. Next to pair with the Uncover Up foundation, of course we have the Uncover Up concealer. Oops, wrong product. They look similar. The Uncover Up, nope, <laughs> still the wrong product. The Uncover Up concealer. This is the shade Triple Zero, which is one of their new lighter shades. It's also like quite olive -y, which is really nice. So I'm gonna take this also on my fingers. I just feel like these products are really made just to blend in with your fingers. As I was saying, I don't like this concealer for under my eyes or really on my face that much. It's just a little bit too emollient. We're still using it today. I'm gonna try to set it down. It just almost always ends up creasing way too much for me. But if you have like super dry under eyes, I could see this being a hit. Do you think this shade triple zero is really nice for like highlighting? It's honestly kind of fun just to like put makeup on with your fingers. Different experience. Alrighty, concealer is done. Dewy, fresh, not for my skin type, but I can appreciate why a lot of people would like this. For bronzer, they do have their Baruti bronzer, I believe is the name of it, which I do not currently have. So to sub in, I'm gonna use a little bit of Cure Wise, sticking with the cream product theme. This is the bronzer in Dazzling, which kind of has this nice, slightly more like yellowy tone to it. And I'm also going to start by just working this in with my fingers. Creams like this are a little bit drier, this Cure Weiss one. When you warm them up with your fingers, it really helps with their application. I feel like the RMS creams are very emollient on their own. You don't necessarily need to warm them up that much, but it does help when you do. And then I'm just gonna grab a brush to help me blend the rest of this in. I have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna work that on the sides of my nose. This is a Trixie foundation brush, by the way, P12. Move on to a setting powder. I do actually have one here. This is called their Unpowder. So this is just silica and Michael, Michael. It's just silica and mica, two ingredients, which would be horrible for flash photography, by the way. Silica powders will give you that sort of white flashback. So it's like everyday situation, it would work fine. So we definitely need to set because it is just way too dewy for me. I actually really appreciate how these kinds of makeup products look on my skin, but my problem is they don't last. Like I really have to apply my makeup for longevity and not necessarily like, oh, it looks good at first. So before I set, I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that everything is blended out, all the creases and whatnot. I actually feel like I could use a little bit more concealer. I'm just gonna layer that up right before I set. And then just grabbing that powder on a Eco Tools brush, using quite a lot of this. Whoop, maybe too much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit more on a fluffier brush just to set the rest of my face. This actually really reminds me of the 100% Pure Bamboo Blur Powder. I feel like they have very similar like silica-based ingredients. These powders are really interesting because they're actually very good at controlling oil and they give you this super like matte, soft focus look, but also still look like skin. Like it just makes your skin look really soft. They're definitely interesting if you've never tried one before. I feel like if you have, like it's one of those powders again where it's like if you're dry or oily, I feel like you could find some use for it because if you have dry skin, it looks really natural. But if you have more oily skin, it's also really good at like setting down makeup and also controlling oils. So this is like definitely not the worst product. I have used it quite a bit. It's pretty basic, simple, but does the job, I would say. Moving on, we have the RMS Beauty Redimension Hydra Blushes. This is another newer launch from RMS. I feel like their most recent makeup launches, they've kind of been making products that people with more than just dry skin can really enjoy. And this has been such a star product from them. I tried it and immediately became obsessed with it. Something about the formula and the shade, it does something to my face that like no other blush does. I always say that when I describe this product. Also refillable, this is the shade French Rose, which I love if you have a fair skin. It just is a really cool toned pink. It is just so beautiful. It's a baked blush formula. So it has that like pearl throughout it, but it is so finely milled that it doesn't look like glitter or shimmer. It kind of just makes you look so glowy. It's gorgeous. I usually go like kind of overboard with it and I don't care because I love it. If you have not tried these yet, it's for sure in my top, top picks from RMS Beauty. They recently launched some new shades as well. So there's something for everybody they are. Gorgeous, totally worth the money, I think. I reach for this every single day, and when I don't, I'm like, I should have. 
On to highlight, we do actually have a highlight here. This one is uh, another cream product from them. This is the mini, it's not actually this tiny in the full size. This is the Living Luminizer, which I do actually really like the shade of this because it's so, it's definitely more of like a silvery shade, which I think is really flattering on my skin. I am just gonna use this with my finger right on top of that blush. We're gonna get a super dewy cheek with this. So we did set down all those creams and now we're sort of adding that classic RMS glow back into the look. This is also another product that's like, it's not too shimmery or glittery. That's not really like RMS's thing. You can always count on them for not making products that look too makeup-y. And I do really applaud this cream highlighter for looking so natural and pretty and lifelike. I do think it's really pretty. It does, like, I don't like my makeup being sticky, like my hair sticks to it. And it just doesn't last a long time. So, not my favorite in terms of longevity. But, as I said throughout this video, if you have dry skin, you could honestly, you might love these. See, just so pretty. I do really enjoy it. Okay, so I don't have a brow product from them. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and we'll be back. So I tried to do a little bit more of a natural brow. Not sure exactly how well that turned out, but let's go ahead and move on to the eye products of our immense beauty. First off, I do have a single powder shadow from them. These are called their Swift Shadows. This is the shade Tempting Touch, which is sort of like a neutrally warm brown. It has a little bit of shimmer in it actually quite pretty. I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush and I'm just, oh my gosh, that was pigmented. I did not realize that. Anyway, I'm taking that on a fluffy brush and then just gonna work that into my crease. Was a bit more pigmented than I was expecting. So even though this product has shimmer in it as well, on the lids, like it just looks, it doesn't look super shimmery. Like it's a very light shimmer. Okay, I feel like this eye has a little bit less. So we're gonna build this up. These are actually pretty good shadows. I'm not a huge fan of single shadows. I could rather have something that's in a palette, just cleaning up the edges. But if you're someone who maybe like only uses one shade of eyeshadow, this could be maybe a fun buy. Are these even? I feel like this left eye still just needs a little bit more. That seems a little bit better. Maybe not. <laughs> so hard to tell. Moving along, these are the RMS Eye Lights, also one of their more recent launches. These I absolutely love. I have a full video on them. I have another shade that I was using a lot. It was more of the purpley one. I'm not sure where I put it though. So we're gonna be using this shade, which is Strobe. They have a lot of really gorgeous shades, and especially if you're into more like mauve cool tones. So what I like to do is, these work really well with the brush, but I just like to use them with my fingers. So these are super metallic and pretty, but no glitter. I'm gonna use this all over my lid. So I believe these are infused with like really great skincare ingredients So they actually like hydrate your lids Which is so unique for an eyeshadow product that actually dries down and has really long longevity as well I mean look at that. It is gorgeous. They're the smoothest metallic, no glitter, so gorgeous and pigmented they do dry down quite quickly and once they do, they're like a powdery finish. If you have like more oily lids like I do and you feel like sometimes eyeshadow just does not stay on you, I would really recommend these as well. These tubes can be slightly annoying, but once you get the hang of using them, I feel like they're okay. So, so pretty. They also have new shades of these. I've been eyeing like a lighter shimmery shade for every day. They usually don't wear like darker shades like this on my lid, but this is, it's so pretty. They're so wearable and beautiful and they do not crease. Truly such a unique cream shadow formula. Like it's not a liquid, you have a little bit of time to play with it, but once they dry down, it's not moving. So I usually will do a little bit of color on my lower lash line, but I'm just feeling like the freshness of this look. The RMS look is like whenever I put their products together, it makes me feel so fresh and smooth. And like, that's another thing about their products is I feel like everything looks so smooth on the skin. So if you have more textured skin or maybe more mature skin, they are really great picks. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of liner though. I'm not sure if I have one of their liners. This is my liner drawer right now, which is like out of hand. I cannot find it in here quickly looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this one from Jillian Dempsey, which is a coal liner in a pencil. This one is brown. I usually don't use a pencil liner, but I'm just gonna sort of draw this on at first and then we will smoke it out. It does have this little blender on the end. So we're gonna use that actually turned out quite nicely. I'm just like mesmerized by this shadow. I've used it before, but every time I use it, I'm just like, I really need to get some new shades. 
I actually have my eye on the Moonlight one, I think, which is like a light pearly color. I also want to mention, you can use these as eyeliner with just like a liner brush, especially for like the darker or more colorful shades, just as like a hint of something. And they last super well. So they have a lot of uses, and I feel like you get a ton of product in here as well. They give you a little metal, I don't know what they're called, but so you can roll up the tube and get every little bit out. But let's move on to mascara. I do actually have one here to try from them. This is the straight up mascara. This is a little sample size, so I actually haven't tried this yet. Oh my gosh, sample size, but full size brush. <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna be voluminizing based off of the brush, but we will go ahead and see. Yeah, I can already tell it's more voluminizing versus having tons of length. It's called Straight Up Mascara, so I'm guessing that means it's gonna hold some curl pretty well. That brush was actually so nice for the lower lash line. It did it in like two seconds. It just like has so much surface area. It just grabs every lash. Definitely more natural at first. I'm trying to build it up a bit. So that was a pretty decent mascara. I can already tell it's not something I would purchase the full size of just because I love my drugstore mascaras. They give me a little bit more than this. This is so pretty though. Um, I'm not sure how it will wear, especially with like the creamy under eye. I will have to add a little update in the comments or description below. I'm just actually really feeling this look. Like my skin just looks so healthy in this eyeshadow. So pretty. With all the new sets on their site, I think they have like an eye lights bundle. So really recommend checking that out because they are so gorgeous if you're a cream shadow lover. Let's move on to the lips. So I believe they do have a lip liner, which I do not have to try on. So we're going to use the Sephora Rouge Gel Liner in the Nudist. This is a really creamy, moisturizing lip liner. So I feel like it really goes whole vibe of the look today. So for the lips, I do have their Armas Beauty Lip Lights. These are really pretty. I have multiple shades of these. This one I think is my favorite, which is Rumor. It's sort of like the mid-tone shade. So these come in similar packaging to the eyeshadow. They're a little bit bigger. So I've had one of these, like this top part bust off and basically like I couldn't close the lip gloss. They get super messy. I don't mind the two packaging for the eye products, but this packaging, I just feel like is really not ideal for a lip product, especially if you're gonna reapply it. Like I don't wanna have to use my fingers. So I feel like they could definitely change this, but let's go ahead and put this on. I mean, absolutely beautiful formula and I love this shade. They really come through for like the neutral cool tones. You have fair skin. They have like really pretty muted, more cool tones, whereas a lot of products can just run so warm. Love the formula. If they would change the packaging. Oh look, see, this one's like squeezing out the top already as well. Yeah, just such a messy formula i might actually just depot this if i had like a little empty pot to use this and like a squeezy tube would just be but one with like an applicator would be really great so i love the formula but can't necessarily recommend based on the packaging i want to show you this is the cream eyeshadow dried down like literally so it does like blend out a little bit but it will not come off of that like base part. This look has honestly surprised me so much. It kind of has this like grungy coolness to it that I'm loving in the skin. Like surprisingly, not surprisingly, I know it looks so good. It's just not gonna last on me. I always get my hopes up, but I'd be willing to try their Reevolve foundation again and see if I can get it to work for me. But if you're only gonna get like one or two things from the brand or maybe a set on the site, these two right here, I feel like, mm, well, actually I have three here. These are the stars of the show. The eyelights are beautiful. Like the finish, it's so wearable and pretty. Ugh. Need more shades immediately. RMS Beauty Reevolve Blush. This is beautiful blush. If you like something with a little bit of glow, I couldn't see how you could not like this. It's so amazing. Love the shade French Rose. If you want a shade recommendation, it has like this bright pinkness to it and it's just gorgeous. The primer is also amazing. If you need a good hydrating skincare based, good for your skin primer, absolutely incredible. So I feel like with the new launches, like RMS is really like hitting with some good products, some hidden gems, some of their older makeup, just like not really for me, but lately they kind of been stepping it up. So beautiful. I do actually have a discount code as well, which I believe will work for the value set. So it's like even more of a discount, which would be amazing. Definitely better than like the Sephora sale. And it's always in the description below. If you had your eye on anything, you can grab 20% off. Thank you for tuning in. I would love to know in the comments below if you've tried this brand, what your favorite is. There'll be two videos here. So we can keep the good times, the good makeup talk going. Pick one of these and I will see you there. Bye.